Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Where do you figure we should look first, Jerry? Well, let's head for those stables on the other side of the racetrack. Hey, you think my father will be there? Sure, if he's got a horse like Colonel Alger said. He's sure to keep the horse in the stable over there. Come on. Gee, I sure hope I find him. I do, too. Well, what'll I do if I can't find him? Golly, I don't know, but don't worry. We'll find your dad. Boy, this is sure some fairgrounds, isn't it? I'll say, and I'll bet it's some fair. I'll bet the best thing will be the Rusoff troop. Boy, can't they ride, though? I never saw such riding. They're real Russian Cossacks, the best trick riders in the world. I sure get nervous when I see Boris and Nicholas do the Roman chariot race. And when they change horses going so fast. Boy, that's something. I'll say. They're nice to work for, too. It sure was nice of them to let us go so early so I could look for my dad. Hey, here comes a policeman. Oh, mister? Yes, son? Uh, is that where they keep all the racehorses? Yep, right over there at the stables. You going to have a look at them? Well, I'm looking for my father. And you think he might be over with the racehorses? Uh, yes, sir. What's his name? Maybe I can help you. Well, his name is Rogers. Jack Rogers. Rogers, huh? No, I don't think I know him. You'd best go over there and take a look for yourself. Okay, thanks. Come on, Tom. Jerry, maybe Colonel Alger was mistaken. Maybe my dad isn't even in Fordham. Now quit worrying until it's time. We haven't even started to look yet. You know, there sure are a lot of horses here. Look at that one, Jerry. Gee, isn't he a beaut? I'll see. That's a real racehorse, all right. You think it's okay to pet him a little? I guess so. Why not? Nice boy. There's his oh. name painted on that sign over there. Flashaway. Well, hello there, Flashaway. That's a swell name for a racehorse, huh, Jerry? Uh-huh. Come on, Tom. Let's see if we can find someone to ask about your dad. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Well, maybe it's too early. Hey, there's a pretty horse in that second stall there. Well, his name is Chum. Hello there, Chum. You seen anybody around this morning? <laughs> Do you expect to get an answer? Well, no, but I thought that... Now, did you ask me something? Oh, oh, golly, you scared me for a second. I didn't know anybody was in here. It ain't nobody. It's only me. Didn't you say something? Well, yeah, I did. I was talking to the horse, though. Well, the horse, he don't understand no questions that you ask him. You better ask over again and ask me this time. We were just wondering where everybody is. You mean the trainers and the owners and the jockeys and all them kind of folks? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're going to be here pretty soon. They get us here right quick now. You know any of the owners? I know my own boss. I know him for a long time. What's his name? His, his name, Mr. Rollins is his name. But my name is Hamilton. Folks all called me Ham. Well, this is Jerry here, and my name is Tom. I'm powerful glad to meet up with you boys. If you'll tell me who you're looking for special, maybe I can help you out some. Well, I'm looking for my father. His name is Jack Rogers. Uh, do you know him? Jack Rogers is his name, huh? Let me think. Now, let me see. He's supposed to own a horse that's going to race in the big handicap tomorrow. Uh, what'd you say his name was? I forgot already. Rogers. Jack Rogers. Yeah, that's right. That's what you told me. Now, which horse is he the owner of? Well, I don't exactly know that. Hmm, that's funny. I don't either. Haven't you heard anybody around here mention the name Rogers? You must have. Well, now, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. 
Maybe I was someplace else when they was talking about them. Maybe they didn't talk about them when I was here. Or a lot of things could happen. Well, try to think now. What are the names of some of the horse owners? The names? You, you want to know who's got which horse? Yeah. Well, I guess I can't help you out, none on the kind of I don't know nobody else except my own boss, and his name is... Yeah, we know. His name is Rollins. Well, I... Say, who told you that? <laughs> you did, Ham. Just a minute ago. Oh, yeah. I guess I did. Come on, Tom. We better just keep looking. No. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Here comes somebody. You, you can find out from him or something what you want to know. Okay. Ask this man, Jerry. All right. Say, do you know this man that's coming, Ham? Well, if he says hello to me, then I know him. But if he don't say hello to me, then I don't know if I know him. Excuse me, mister. Yes, son? Uh, we're looking for Jack Rogers. Do you happen to know where we can find him? Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers. Why, well, yes, sure. He's down there. Let's see. <laughs> I think you'll find him down there at the far end of the stable. That is, if he's there yet. Uh, you mean the man down to the end what owns the horse, that fire horse called Blaze? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, well, he was here a while ago, but he's going to get something to eat. He, he said he'd be right back. But why didn't you tell us, Ham? I didn't know who you was talking about at all. Gee, thanks, mister. Okay, boys. Oh, Ham, uh, didn't you know this... That his name was Rogers? Well, no, all I know that he owns the horse folks is making fun of. The horse's name is Blaze. Well, when did he say he'd be back? Well, he just went to get something to eat. He, he'll be right back. You best stay here now if you don't want to miss him. Why are people making fun of Mr. Rogers' horse, Ham? All I know is that the horse was once with the fire department, and folks just think he ain't much good. Look, Jerry, I think that's my dad now, cutting across the track over there. Really? It looks like him, all right. It is him. Jerry, there's my dad. Well, come on, then. Let's go meet him. See you later, Ham. All right. I'll see you next time you call. Call to him, Tom. Here. If I'm not here, well, go on and call to him, Tom. Uh, it's him, all right, Jerry. Yeah, he, he sees you now. Dad! Dad, it's Tom! Tom! Tom, my boy! Hurry up, Jerry! I'm coming. I'm right behind you. Tom, my boy. I'm winded. Oh, Dad! Oh, it's good to see you, Tom. Say, this is a surprise. How come you're here in Fordham? Well, it's a long story. Oh, where's Mr. Platt? Is he with you? Uh-uh. I'll tell you all about it. I'm sure glad to see you, son, and you're looking fine. Oh, I forgot. This is my pal, Jerry. I'm mighty glad to know you, Jerry. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Rogers. Let's sit down on these boxes and talk a while. Okay. Say, tell me, Tom, how did you happen to come here to Fordham, and how did you know I was out here at the fair? Well, I'll start right from the first. That's the boy. Well, Mr. Platt was a crook, Dad. What? Yeah, he was, and, well, he's in jail now. He's the real one who held up that train about four years ago. And he made it look like another man did it. Well, Jerry here found out all about it and finally had Mr. Platt arrested. Well, I can't believe my ears. Well, it's true. Yes, go ahead, son. Well, when they took Mr. Platt to jail, I didn't have any place to go, and, well, so I asked Jerry what to do, and he got me a job with the circus. You're not with the circus that's coming to town today. <laughs> yes, sir. That is, I was. Well. Well, you see, Mr. Randall, he's the owner of the circus. Yes. Well, he put me on and gave me a job so I could work my way to Fordham to look for you. Jerry belongs to the circus. Well, Jerry, I sure appreciate what you did for Tom. Oh, that was nothing. Oh, it was quite a bit. He would have been in a fine fix if you hadn't been able to get him a job with the circus. Well, the reason Jerry is out here is because he's going to help the Russian Cossack riders with their horses. That's right. There's been quite a bit of talk about them coming out here and putting on a show. And it'll be a show, all right. They're the best riders you ever saw. <laughs> That's right, Dad. And boy, are they good. Can we go and see your horse now? Well, so you know all about my horse, huh? Oh, sure. We found out from Colonel Alger. Now, who could Colonel Alger be? Oh, he's the advance man for the circus. He's the one who arranged to have the Russoff to come out here to the fair. Oh, I see. He most likely saw me out here, is that it? Uh-huh. And then he came back to the circus and told us all about the fair. And, well, he told us. Well, he said that. Oh, come on now. <laughs> what is it, son? Out with it? Well, he said that everyone was making fun of your horse. Yes. Well, I've heard that before, but don't let that bother you any. I think I know what I'm doing. Is he a pretty good horse, Mr. Rogers? You bet he is a good horse, Jerry. Don't you listen to what anyone says. Uh, can't we go see him now? Well, first I'd like to hear some more about Platt. Well... That's all there is to tell. Uh, Tom, why didn't you answer my letters? Well, I never got any letters. What? No, sir, I never got a one. And how about the money I sent you? Well, I never got any money. In fact, Mr. Platt said you never wrote to me. And then I wanted to write to you, and he wouldn't tell me where you were. He said he didn't know. Well, that explains it. What? 
All the time you were with him, I sent him money for your keep. Oh, but we'll talk this over some other time. I guess Jerry isn't interested in our troubles. Oh, I don't mind. Go ahead and talk. No, no. Tom and I will have plenty of time to talk later on. You're never going to leave me again, Tom. I'm sorry everything worked out like it did. Oh, that's all right. Now that we're together again, it doesn't matter. Please tell us about the horse now. Yeah, tell us all about Blaze. Oh, I see you know his name. Uh-huh. Ham told us. Ham told you, huh? He's a great one, that Ham. Is, is he really a fire horse like everyone says? Well, yes and no. What do you mean? Well, he was with the fire department, all right, but he was the captain's horse. Pulled the captain's buggy. Well, you mean the buggy that goes on ahead of the fire department? That's it, exactly. Well, that doesn't make him a fire horse. Well, those horses are fast. And Blaze is fast. Faster than a lot of folks think. Well, how'd you happen to get him, Dad? Well, there's a story to that. You see, I was working for a man, and when I got through the job, this man couldn't pay me all the money I had coming. He was the owner of Blaze, and, well, I just took a fancy to the horse. I figured he had racing blood in him, so I made the man a deal. I took Blaze for the money he owed me. Imagine getting a racehorse like that. Mm, that's just the way it happened. Then I figured there wasn't any sense in having a racehorse and not being able to race him, so I entered him in the big handicap race for tomorrow. Oh, golly, I'm anxious to see him. Well, we'll go over in a minute. It took every penny I could scrape up to get the money for the entrance fee, and if Blaze doesn't win tomorrow, I don't know what I'll do. I'll be broke. Oh, I don't care, Dad, as long as we're together again. Oh, that's nice of you to say that, Tom. But that Blaze just has to win the race. Is there a big prize? You bet there is, Jerry. A thousand dollars. Wow, a thousand dollars. Boy, that's a lot of money. <laughs> you bet it is. Who's going to ride Blaze? I've got a very fine jockey, Jerry. One of the best. And he's been giving Blaze some splendid workouts. Which reminds me, I'd better get over to the stable now and see about giving Blaze an early workout this morning. I always like to get him out early before the rest of the horses get on the track. Well, come on, then. Let's go. I can hardly wait to see him. Okay. Over this way, boys. We'll cut right across the track here, and there's the stable right ahead of us. Is Blaze as fast as some of the other horses, Mr. Rogers? Pretty near, Jerry. Pretty near. He's been improving every day. Seems to make faster time each time he gets out on the track. You boys are going to watch him work out this morning, aren't you? You bet we are. Hot huh, Tom? I'll say. Well, there he is. There's Blaze in person. Well, which one? There's three horses' heads sticking out of the doors. Well, he's the one on the end. Well, that pretty black one with a white forehead? That's Blaze, all right. He sure has got a pretty head. Do you like him? Uh-huh. What I could see of him. Well, boys, you're about to see the winner of tomorrow's big race. Thank you.